Well, there's the lava plume on Middle Teton, and uh, Middle Teton Glacier's not too far away now. And South Teton there, hopefully it'll be there in a few hours. Whew, we're having a pretty good time. Say, so I don't know what the altitude is, over 10,000 feet, almost 10,000 feet. Real pretty sunrise. So about four o'clock and then top of the meadows or above the meadows at 7 a.m. So not doing too badly. I'm not gonna win any races, but it's okay. A large rock fixed this pipe. You have to go to the left of this thing going up, otherwise you end up on the glacier. This glacier, right before we start heading up saddle, it's got a few little cracks and crevasses in it. Gotta figure out the best way around this thing. Looks like camp misery to me. Alright, hopefully that is the couloir I need to go up. And this is the Talos Slope, and I would assume that over there, once I make the peak, you don't turn until you can see the lake, so that's gonna be steep. Alright, well, let's keep going because those clouds do not say happy. I don't know. Uh, South Teton looks easier, but everybody says it is, so <laughs> no idea. This one's a little rocky. It's definitely not uh, clean climbing, that's for sure. But uh, getting closer. It's gonna follow the Kuar. And don the helmet because lots of loose rock. If I it, kick something and it loosens something way up there. I don't want to get whacked just because I don't have my helmet on. Current altitude says 11.8. Still a thousand more feet to go. Good thing I had the helmet on. Stood up and rammed my head into a overhanging rock. Ah, that would have been a bleeder. But uh, the helmet took it, so all good. Hopefully getting close. The uh, vertical sense of euphoria just messes with your mind here. Whew. Well, here we are, top of Middle Teton. And... The Grand is another thousand feet above me. Hmm. Here's a view of everything. I wasted a good hour in the boulder field, got trapped like everybody else apparently, so, oh well. And if that weather starts over here, yeah, it's time to get out of here. That stuff comes in the afternoon, it will be bad. Good time, but oh boy. Well, here we are in South Teton. Actually, this one was more scary to climb because the climbs on the, the north facing face so the dirt was muddy and slippery and there was ice. The middle Teton wasn't nearly as scary. It was a little tough but yeah this is scarier. Hopefully that rock over there isn't a higher point than this here but I'll have to call the South Teton. I don't know if they removed the marker because of it or what but I gotta get down. It is 1.30 so get out of here before something exciting happens in the weather. Alright, that's the view. Ah, 
It's kind of embarrassing. I got lost on South Teton or because I started heading down from the peak and I didn't stay on the ridge. I started to head south. Huge mistake. I had to climb all the way back up that ridge. Oh, that stinks. So, yeah, yeah. Got GPS mark the entry and exit point next time. Oh boy, that was bad. This is the cool R you have to come up on south. Problem is that glacier there. So easy to slip and perish. Yee. Uh, when I came through here this morning, it was totally dark, so I could barely see the lava tube on Middle Teton. So that was that. Oh, my feet hurt. Holy moly. You know you're in bear country when they shred the bark to leave a message. All right, so started about 4:10 a.m. Returned at 7:30. Had got lost in one boulder field and then wandered around South Teton a bit much. So I'm still on the mark. Took me 59 minutes to get up South Teton, just like the guy I met said, so. Not too shabby considering how sore my legs are. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be crippled tomorrow. South Teton and Middle Teton Conquer.